Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name is Vin Pierre, and on today's episode, we're doing your favourite and mine, the Whiskey In, Whiskey Out for June 2023. Now, if you don't know the format of this show by now, all I do is show you the bottles that I got in this month and the bottles that I killed this month. That's the format, that's what we do, and it's a big one today. You might have noticed from the, uh, the timestamp down below, I've got a lot of bottles to cover because Lucky me, I got a big old delivery this month from a uh, company who sent me the whole range, basically. Now, um, you know, I will say this at the start of videos, when I've got a, a bottle for free, or in this case, a lot of bottles for free, I'll always state them on the review videos so that you know that my opinion, you know, you, you might think it's uh, it's been biased by it, but it never is, it never is. I will always only agree to take a, a sample or a bottle off a company if I can put the video out when I want and I can say what I want about it. They're the two caveats. And yet people still continue to do it, so I'm cool with it. I know not everyone is cool with it, but that's the stance of the channel and we, we plod on with it. So today I'm gonna to show you a, a whole heap of new bottles that I've got in, and then I'm gonna go through the four that were killed this month. It's been a, a bit of a light month on kills because one of them I was only given the heels anyway by a friend. Let's get straight into it then, and we'll go straight in with the bottle that I did buy this month, which is the SE11 Canadian Whiskey from Summerton Club. Now, you'd have probably just noticed that I did a video of this a couple of days ago, so uh, I would love it for you to go and watch that, that review, but um, yeah, the bit of an overview of this is that attention to detail wins out. It's going to be difficult for you to get hold of, no matter where you are in the world, even if you're in Canada, to be honest. But um, it's well worth checking out that video because uh, I've, I've, it was a bit of a, a bit of an evolution for me because it's it's mainly rye led, but I I didn't hate it, which is good. I like that, you know. I I, I wanted I wanted to be kinder. Um, I have been. I was pretty kind. I will admit I was pretty kind to it because I generally speaking hate rye. So to say that I don't hate it is actually a bit of a glowing review, to be honest. To be honest. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Go and check out that video. I'm gonna slot these back here. Unfortunately, you're gonna be you're not you're not gonna be on screen for much longer. But um, yeah, okay. So the first thing then, um, I got sent eleven bottles from uh, Charles Edge. Now they do a couple of different brands. One is the Scots Gold, which you might have seen uh, from uh, my videos previously. I just I've just done a kind of like an overview of all of these. These are these are, are basic blended whiskies basically. So we have here Scots Gold Red Label. We have the Scots Gold. Black label, um, you know, obvious comparisons to be made there, right? I'm just gonna bang these back here. Hopefully everyone can see all of that still, yes. Uh, and then there was the Scots Gold Silver label or Grey label, eight year old. And finally, the Scots Gold 12 year, which is like a brown label, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, they're, they're relatively cheap, you know, we're talking like, you know, 18, 19, 20 something quid and this went up to like nearly 30 i think um and it in terms of you watching this now the 8 and the 12 are all you really need to care about the 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 red and the black they're just fine but they are very comparable to the other supermarket uh kind of blended grains or whatever you want to call them so um yeah for you watching for a relatively cheap whiskey you can't really go too wrong with these um but you know, each to their own. However, the the Canmore side of things, which I have a lot of here, this is all going to be coming up. I can't give you too many details on my opinions yet because I still have videos to do. But the Canmore range will be much up your street, um, which I will be going through bit by bit. Now, the first two that go to go together are these bad boys here. We have the Canmore Single Malt Highland Single Malt, and we have the Canmore Twelve Year Old. Now, these are secret distilleries. Uh, I did try to get them to tell me they wouldn't, you know, fair play, they're not allowed to for whatever reason. Um, and they don't really even give many details on trying to figure it out either. But there aren't that many Highland distilleries and there aren't that many Highland distilleries that will kind of have the stock for something like this. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, so I can't say anything more about these. These are relatively reasonably priced as well, sort of in the £30, 40 quid sort of mark, which is pretty good. Let's just put these back here. Then we have a whole series of Canmore single casks um, from various different distilleries. So this one here, for instance, is a uh, Ardmore, aged for 10 years, um, all, all different prices. So I think these start at like 65 odd quid. 
Um, they're not cast strength, but they are single cast. So this is a 46 percenter. Um, and I have to say, I've, I've opened all of these. I'm just showing you the boxes now, but you know, well, there you go. Proof in the, proof in the pudding. I've, uh, I've opened these and I've started to give them a good old go because by the time I review these, I'll be fully up to speed in, uh, in my tasting notes and things like that. But I haven't tried a bad one yet, which is pretty good. Um, you know, like this is a good example. This is a 10 year old Glen Ruthus from Canmore. Uh, again, 46%, 470 bottles. Generally speaking, I don't vibe off Glen Ruthus, but there you go. For some reason, I don't mind that. Um, moving up in years, we have a 12-year-old uh, Glen Geary, which is uh, pretty good. Again, the prices do change, but I'll drop links below if you're interested in checking them out, or just wait until my reviews come out. I'll probably be drip feeding these reviews out because what I don't want to do is overload you with cam more because I've got a lot of it. <laughs> Um, then we go up. This is in order of prices, basically. Then we go to a 14-year Krigeliki, um, which is bloody lovely. Finally, then going back down in age quickly, we have a 12-year-old Bunaharven. Now, this um, I will tell you about this quickly because this has got 913 bottles, 46%. This sells for about 95 quid, which is a lot. Um, it is a lot of money, and obviously you can get the 12-year-old Bunaharven standard for that. This, however, is a single cask one and it's stunning like i mean genuinely genuinely stunning there you go i got a lot of bottles in <laughs> this, this month um but i'll what i'll do is that the canmore core, core range the you know the the non-age statement and the 12 year there'll be a double video like i did with the scots gold and then the rest of these these are the five they'll be uh single single reviews i think they deserve their own reviews each um yeah, let me know uh, which ones you want to see first. I mean, I imagine you want to see the Bunnahaven one first, right? But uh, I might do them up in age order. We'll see, we'll see. In any case, boom, let's move on to my whiskey kills this month. So again, I had four bottles, one of which was um, was given to me, uh, as you, you would have seen, all of these have been reviewed so far, these ones that are coming up. Um, and uh, I only just covered it. And in fact, I'll just get it now. Boom, there you go. It was the Samaroli uh Kalila 2013 I was given it with just a wee bit left in here by my friend Alex to review um and I didn't have many nice things to say about this apart from that it's tasty liquid you know and it is tasty liquid it's Kalila I like Kalila I, I've never not liked Kalila but this retails for 120 quid for 45 percent Kalila and it's like nine years old madness now I don't usually I don't usually complain about things like age ABV and whatnot but for me, you know me, no nonsense whiskey is all about the value of whiskey. I do bring in the 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 cost, you know, the price. It's important, I think. And I, I know some of you don't think it is important, but for me, I'm on a tight budget, you know, I've got a young family. I need to know that when I'm buying a whiskey, it's good value. It doesn't have to be cheap. That's not the same thing, but I basically what I need is experience that is equivalent to the amount of money that I have spent. Now for 120 quid, I better be sitting in my chair going mm, every time I drink it, every time without fail. And this is just you can buy it for the exact same mouthfeel. You can just go for the standard clear, the 12 year old, for a snippet of the cost. There you go. It's not often a, it's not often a dram makes me kind of like riled a little bit, but that one did. Um, I thought it. Yeah, yeah. You've heard my rant. Go and watch the video. It's a good video. I've put these in a really stupid place. My next bottle kill then was the uh, Lakes Distillery, the one, and this is the sherry cask finish. Um, now, uh, again, you know, all of these I've reviewed, so go and check out the full videos, but I do like to give an overview of my bottle kills at the end of their life. Um, I uh, the, the one blended had a shaky start for me. Not this version. The, stat, the first versions they put out, the one blended, which didn't have any Lakes spirit in it whatsoever. Um, they weren't good. Well, that's not true. Some of them were okay, but some of them were really bad. And I think it was damaging. Um, but that luckily, they've managed to recover that reputation by listening to the uh, to the audience. You know, people that are drinking it saying, you know, we don't want this. We don't want this. Um, nowadays, this has a, a good wedge of their own liquid in it. Um, I went up there last year sometime, and we did a tasting, and it was all blind. They wouldn't let us know. It was really interesting. They wouldn't let us know what, what we were drinking until afterwards said what we thought about it. 
and I and I was really pleasantly surprised by this one when it came out. Um, and it was sherry cask is not usually my bag. It's you know a similar vein. You know this this is not totally their whiskey, but I bought a bottle there and then of this, and I bought a bottle of the Bow Mask, which I still have to review. Kind of it feels pointless because you're never going to get it now. But anyway, I might review it at some point. But I bought that and this together. So yeah, this was really good. Um, I was really impressed with this, and I can't remember how much I paid for it. It was like thirty-five quid, which is, you know, that's that's spending money, isn't it? Now, this is a cool one. <laughs> one of my bottles is dead. Uh, this is bottle forty-eight out of fifty-eight. Um, obviously, if you don't know, hopefully you do know by now. But I've released three whiskies under my own banner. This is the third. This is a McMira, uh, and all the names on here. I really this light is really blowing it out, but. Can you see all the names on here are people that pre-ordered this whiskey with me? There were still a couple left over once I'd done the pre-order. Um, so I, uh, anyone who pre-ordered a, a bottle got their name on the label. But you see some of them are in yellow or orange, and they were patrons at least at the time. Um, I think most of them still are, which is pretty cool. And they, um, the extra supporters, so I highlighted them a bit more. So this was really a an industry, a um, industry. This was really a community-led bottle. Obviously, I did it, but what I did was I picked a couple of my patrons. We got samples sent to us of five different McMirrors that we could have picked from. And um, actually, a good story. I tell it all the time. I said it for the same video when I did for this. But we went through each of the samples in turn. And the first one, we were like, this is pretty good. I like it. Second one, yep, yeah, this is better. We like that. Third one, this is good. We like this. Fourth one, yep, yeah, this is good. When the fifth one came around, and this was this, everyone went silent on the call. Genuinely, this is genuinely true. Everyone went silent. And I think maybe everyone waited for me to speak first. And I think I remember saying something like, is, it, is this the one? And everyone was just like, this is the one. And it was just like, well, that was easy. Job done. We bottled it. And this is a three-year-old McMira. Um, I think still the highest ABV... McMira that was ever commercially available might have beat me now but still anyway I've killed one of the bottles I've still got uh, a personal stash left over I think I've got just looking now yeah I've got um, I've got my open bottle I've got my number one bottle and I've got two extra bottles left over which is pretty cool but people have been enjoying this um, not to blow smoke up my own bum but yeah it was good it was a good bottle finally then we've got a Somerton as always a Somerton in a Somerton out this is the uh, Somerton Whiskey Club exclusive from Glasgow 1770, and this was their 2020 edition. I can't remember now. It doesn't have the number on it. The next year's one had the number on it. Um, yeah, I remember this being a bit, um, yeah, apple pie and shortbread. Yeah, definitely so. A bit a bit too apple pie for me, but actually, it started as it started going down and down and down, I found myself not being able to leave it alone. So uh, it ended up getting killed. But um, you know me, I do love a good... Glasgow 1770 so um, to have a single cask picked out by Dan was even better so I was happy with that um, and as I mentioned on my review of uh, the SE11 um, it's it's not even the first time they've done a, a half litre at Somerton this was this one and then they did the one after the next year and then that good stuff okay probably a slightly longer one today because I had a lot of bottles to go through on the whiskey and hopefully you enjoyed that uh, and as always, you know, let me know the standard things. Let me know what your bottles were in this month. Let me know what your bottle kills were this month. Let me know which reviews you want me to do next. Um, let me know basically anything. Get it in the comments below. Or if you don't want to put it out in public, you can go onto my emails, vin at no -nonsense -whiskey com. I answer my emails all the time. Uh, I, I never don't answer my emails. So you can always feel free to email me for basically anything, you know, whiskey advice. Should I buy this? Should I buy that? YouTube advice, whatever you want, just say hello, basically. And finally, of course, my Discord server in the link below. Um, Discord, if you're not familiar with it, is um, just a chat app, basically. Uh, it's a chat forum app, and each you, anyone can set up a server. I've set up a no-nonsense whiskey one, so I'm in control of it, and there's a really good bunch of people on there right now. And we welcome new people all the time. I don't advertise it that much. It's always a link in the description below, but I don't talk about it nearly often enough. But it's probably my favorite thing that's come out of uh, doing this whole YouTube thing because yes it's a community of, of fans but genuinely a, a good proportion of them have turned into really good friends over the years so yeah it's a really good place to have not only access directly to me 
but also I've got a little contingent of whiskey tubers on there that are, are freely chatting all the time and you can chat to those guys however many times you want and also other people in the community as well. Pitch over, go and join Discord, even if you're not sure what Discord is, download it and come and join the link below. You'll be gratefully received, especially if you let us know who you are. But um, yeah, thanks for watching another WeeWoo. I've really enjoyed this one. I've got a lot of whiskey to get through. So I'll get on with reviewing these and I'll see you again on more videos coming soon. Cheers.